Moving on to our next story now, Pempa Tsering has been elected as the president of the Tibetan government in exile. Tsering secured over 34,000 votes in two rounds of elections for the 17th parliament of the Central Tibetan administration. Tsering has been the speaker of the Tibetan parliament in exile and has earlier served as the representative of His Holiness the Dalai Lama to North America. In his first exclusive comments after the victory to Wion, Sering said that he will try to fulfill the aspirations of the electorate in all matters, including the Sino-Tibetan conflict. Listen in. I fully respect the mandate of the public, and then, uh, as I have committed uh, many times, uh, I shall fulfill. Uh, I shall try to fulfill the aspiration of the electorate in uh, all matters, including uh, resolving the uh, Sino-Tibet conflict and uh, looking after the welfare of the Tibetan people. Uh, for that, I think the Chinese leadership uh, will have to learn Buddhism to decide who should succeed uh, His Holiness the Dalai Lama. Otherwise, it's a purely religious matter that should be left to the Tibetan people. Overall, I think we'll have to work under the guideline uh, provided by the uh, central government of India and the state governments, uh, respective state governments, wherever there are Tibetan settlements. But uh, from the Tibetan side, uh, the effort that I would be making uh, would be try to try to inoculate as many Tibetans as possible um, and uh, try to provide uh, uh, medical equipments uh, wherever we have a larger number of cases. Nearly 130,000 Tibetans live in exile in India and other parts of the world. The elections took place with all the necessary support from New Delhi. For 61 years, India has not only housed Tibetans in exile, but also enabled them to democratically elect their leader every five years. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.